Hey guys, I'm gonna talk about a really cool method or tip to be able to accumulate a lot of wealth down the road for retirement. To me, it's probably one of the easiest ways to build up your retirement, and that is to buy rental properties the poor man's way. What I mean by the poor man's way is, I want you to buy a piece of real estate or a house that you can move into. It could be your primary residence. Now talk to your loan professional. They'll advise you as to like what loan you could possibly get. Typically, a lot of people for first time homebuyers are gonna get an FHA loan, which is a minimum three and a half percent down or a conventional loan, typically 5% down. Sure, conventional wisdom says that you need to put 20% down to buy a house. It's not necessarily true. They do say that so that you can avoid paying private mortgage insurance. However, to me, this method is a lot more important than trying to save up 20% to buy a house. And here's why. You'll buy your first primary residence. You'll live in it for one year. At the end of the one year, you'll go ahead and buy your second primary residence turn that first home into a rental, and then the second one, you'll live there for another year, and then by the end of year two, you're gonna buy your third primary residence property. These other two properties you'll hold as rentals. At the end of year three, you'll go buy your fourth property, and you have three rentals. Now, if you do this right, and you buy something that's not gonna fall apart on you, then your tenants are gonna basically be funding your retirement for you the next 30 years or 15 years, however long your, your loan term is. At the end of the 30 years, you now have three properties paid off, They've more than likely than doubled in value. You're also possibly getting some write-offs for depreciation against your taxes. Talk to your CPA or attorney on that. And then the other benefit is that you're gonna get cash flow when you're done, which is like a no-brainer to me. It's, it's crazy awesome. A lot of people think that they have to have a lot of money to invest in real estate. That is not true. You can come up with a little bit of money, 3%, 5% down to buy a property every year. I wouldn't sink that $500 a month that you're saving into you know, an IRA or a Roth you know, or a 401k. The reason for that is because you're not gonna touch that money. There's really no benefit in that until way down the road. With this, you're getting like potential tax benefits right away. They're basically paying down your principal. If you do need to sell it, you can sell it. And there's really no, not a lot of repercussions. Whereas if you were to take money from your 401k or IRA, there could be some penalties with that. So I love real estate for that reason. It's a great property. It's an asset everyone needs to own. Now people are like, well, how would I just invest in the stock market? That's great. However, Stocks can go up and down really fast. You can buy a stock and the next day it's down 10%. The real estate doesn't typically work like that. If it's gonna go down, it's gonna take a while and you can kind of predict things like that. And the great thing is that someone is funding your real estate for you, whereas if you buy stocks, you've gotta fund the stock every month or every week or however often you're putting money into the account. Anyways, that's my advice for building up your rental portfolio or creating a lot of wealth down the road so that you can retire. Um, potentially, you know, debt free and have just the life that you want. So go out and buy real estate and catch me on the next video.